what's good tarot tribe it's the priest and i am back with another pick a card reading in today's reading i feel like the universe has been trying to connect with whoever you are and that could be through signs symbols numbers movies music i mean pretty much the universe can communicate through anything and anyone so if you guys are here i do believe you were sent here to hear exactly the message that the universe is trying to connect with you on right now so i do have six different decks you can choose from you can choose more than one if you feel drawn to more than one and just trust that whatever comes forward is the message that you really need to hear from the universe so if you guys are looking for anything that i have going on you can check out the description box i do have some pretty dope things coming out and also follow me on instagram the tarot priest so in the meantime let's jump into the reading i have six different decks that you can choose from we have deck one two and three and then we also have deck four five and six all right i'll see you guys on the other side all right if you guys chose deck number one this is your reading from the universe so the card that you guys have is heed your dream so i really do feel like if you guys are drawn to deck number one the message that the universe has trying to convey to you could be through nature could be through weather could be through animals dreams actual physical dreams and then also just signs that you may be getting around we'll pick up more information on that what the universe is trying to tell you is to face your fears and go towards your dreams no matter what condition you think is ahead of it to to just folk almost like i see like someone putting their head down and just going towards what it is that they want and not questioning it so much so let's see what's here for you deck number one let's get the current energy thank you perfect i only needed three cards so that's perfect yeah the sun card is here so we have leo energy on the board you don't have to be a leo uh but the sun card so yeah some of you could definitely be welcoming in um, a new project or uh, someone new into your family some of you could be pregnant again some of you because we have the empress and the son both of them are pregnant on the card um, and we also have the mother daughter and grandmother so there's something harmonious that's happening right now and even your relationships is what i'm getting um, it is also connected to your dream projects how you feel about what's happening in your life the joy that is coming through in your life we have the page of swords and then the last card that we have is the three of swords okay so yeah i really feel as though things have maybe occurred in the past that were discouraging that maybe didn't work out whether it's projects relationships certain things that you had in mind and i do believe that what has happened is it has caused and created fear around your dreams it's almost like you're afraid to go after your dreams because of whatever has happened in the past i'm also feeling like spirit is saying that this next step and chapter in your life isn't so intellectually laid out it's not going to be like a logical step it's really going to be more so about what is fulfilling to you why is the empress here thank you release okay so we have the death card here scorpio energy the end of a phase or a situation spiritual transformation time to move on so what we have in the future here is the sun so the universe wants you to know that whatever it is that you have to release that it is going to be replaced with what you truly desire okay um you might be expecting the worst outcome but the sun is here which tells me that everything is going to work out the message that the universe wants you to know today is that everything is going to work out and to focus on whatever it is that your dreams are and not so much of making it happen i feel like many of you guys could be air signs you don't have to or have a lot of air in your chart it's just a lot of intellectual things um that are that are great you have a beautiful mind but in this next chapter of where you're going it's not about your mind it's about what your feelings are uh encompassing what feels good when you're creating what do you enjoy um what brings the sun back out into your life like that's where your focus should be uh rather than in a logical sense yeah so this is a spiritual transformation that you're going through if you guys chose deck number one your relationships are very drawn and connected to this somehow okay somehow something is preventing you from going after your dreams it doesn't matter what that may be and you may find that the things that are preventing it are challenging to keep in the first place and they will reveal themselves and what needs to go um i'm also hearing that spirit is saying 
to release these emotions, like whether it's writing, it could be poetry, you know, find a way to release some of these emotions that you have so you don't feel like you have to be carrying them with you. This is the judgment card, the renewal. This is the strongest spiritual card in the deck, in my opinion, when it comes to purpose and when it comes to the universe literally calling you. <laughs> like if there wasn't another card here that literally is saying the universe is calling you, trying to get your attention. All right. And so I definitely feel like you're going through a huge transformation of letting things go for the sake of your joy. The biggest thing I'm hearing for you, deck number one, is to understand that the universe is on your side. You want the same things. Time to move in a new direction. There's two confirmations here. Release and move into a new direction. Now, what I'm here to do is just to give you faith truthfully deck one is by telling you that when you make this decision the sun will shine you're becoming the empress you're becoming more confident in trusting yourself and trusting who you are all right let's see what the last message is for deck number one and why they're all they're here because you're here for a reason we have success so we have a lot of yellow and orange right we have choice at the bottom so spirit is really laying, laying it on you heavy today okay because i can't make this up spirit is definitely saying um, to make a decision and to choose you and to choose your joy and your happiness in your dreams. So you're growing and you're thriving in the universe. Discover the purity of your heart and the higher wisdom that guides you towards victory. Direct your thoughts towards clarity and nurture wisdom, love and goodness within you. You are free now and you succeed and will succeed in your life. Before I go, I just wanna say some of you have a project, some of you have some type of passion that is gonna bring you a lot of success. The answer lies in your dreams, not in what is a strategic business career choice, all right? So again, we have a lot of yellow. This is all about your confidence, how you feel about yourself, and also the orange, what you're creating. Um, and that, that joy, you know, uh, pleasure and everything, it's all connected here how you feel about yourself so again you might be drawn to another deck but i'm just truly feeling like spirit is saying that no matter what you go through choose happiness rise above the fear and direct your thoughts towards the universe okay with the crown chakra so open up and allow this guidance in um and then i'm gonna pull one more card to see how spirit might be communicating with you deck number one you also could be a Leo. You don't have to be the full card. So spirit wants you to take the risk on your dreams. Like focus on what that dream is. And the sky is not even the limit. You're here to take a leap of faith. And that's what spirit wants you to, to know. Take a leap of faith towards your dreams. It will succeed. So if you guys chose deck number one, this is your reading in what exactly the universe has been trying to tell you. Yes, you're going through a favorable uh, assessment and it's all to get you to redirect yourself into more of a creative direction. This is not going to be a logical one. OK, this is going to be one that's based on what feels good when you're creating and what you enjoy. OK, and it doesn't have to be something astronomical. It could be very simple, but I'm really feeling deep, deep down that Number one, it's definitely time to get to know yourself on a deeper level so that those things can be revealed. All right, I'm moving on to deck number two. What's good, deck number two? If you guys were drawn to this card, need and necessity. So spirit wants you to balance out your desires and your joy. You must be spending a little bit too much time on what you think you need, what you think you need. All right, let's see what's going on with deck number two. What have you been trying to communicate? All right, I'm not even trying, but I'm seeing already we have a couple of cards at the bottom of the deck. Listen to life. So spirit has been communicating with you if you are here. All right, will of fortune. So there's something that's spinning in your destiny right now, okay? Could be a home. Some of you I do see in the cards for you. If you look here, the jackpot, some of you may be hitting the jackpot, literally. <laughs> and some of you could be hitting the jackpot when it comes to just buying a home or seeing a property. One thing that I'm hearing is to not be focused so much on the conditions of what you think you need in order to obtain what you desire. Understand that the universe is working with you to obtain these desires. So you're not doing this alone. It is in your favor. 
with the wheel of fortune here it is destined to happen so there's a couple of things that i'm hearing for you deck number two and that is listening listen 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 and listening is not just coming from your ears it is coming from a very intuitive place it's a very subtle place if your mind is loud you will miss this form of communication it's not something that can be translated mentally all right this communication that's coming into you is through signs and symbols and they're guiding you to success so your life <laughs> literally is that amazing you must be overlooking it because you're focused on everything you think you need that you're not realizing that you actually have luck on your side so you have the ability to manifest everything it is that you desire however you are looking for something such as fulfillment and some of these desires such as the perfect house for you is going to be guided to you through the universe the universe will send the right people send the right contractors everything will work out perfectly however i'm just seeing listen and discover the way listen to yourself and acknowledge your needs there's that word again for some reason you feel like you need let's see what that's about okay let's get the abundance deck thank you page of feathers exploration and discovery okay so there's more that 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 there is to learn with what it is that you have to offer there's an exploration for you to take for you to see how much value you, you actually do have to offer what's going on with this needs okay we have sagittarius energy temperance balance and harmony and we also have the seven of crystals okay so we have the patience card here uh we also have just because you're not seeing it doesn't mean it's not happening that it's not manifesting um, we have the tower card we have some things that should be released to make room for what you actually desire whatever that may be but there's a sense of discovery that is required for you to find these answers that you are seeking temperance why is that here thank you yeah four of wands all right some of you are also being led to a life partner is what i'm hearing um, could be also to a community to your tribe some of you are bringing back harmony into your life by bringing and attracting the right people all right but you have to be willing to release what it is that no longer serves you maybe people that you had to feel like you had to fit in with um certain ways that you felt around certain people maybe that you had to change or hide certain things about yourself I'm just seeing that your relationships are going to be restored with a lot more harmony. So the universe wants you to know that you can trust yourself when you let go of certain things and people and you should not hold on to them because you feel bad, right? You should feel good to want to keep people in your life or you should feel good about your decisions, right? Not, I feel bad so i'm gonna just go ahead and reach back out because that's still not from a place of truth so i'm just seeing that there's a lot of being true to yourself here um i respect myself and am respected yeah re boundaries you could be drawn to another deck as well so i'm seeing that the universe wants you to know to not uh regret your decisions that you have made and to also just trust yourself and um love yourself is what i'm getting like acknowledging your desires and if we're going to look at a need, which we don't like that word because it's a very low frequency word, joy and happiness, harmony is probably the biggest thing that you're desiring right now. Um, authenticity. I don't know why I'm picking that up. Authenticity, compassion. Um, you're just looking for something a little bit deeper. And I just feel like spirit is saying that you must be more open to the signs around you and the guidance and understand that you're not leading yourself that you are being guided by something much higher and if things seem to be falling apart do not cave into that idea because they're just simply falling into place everything is working in your favor even if it doesn't look like it and how do we know because we always look back and we're like wow if that never would have happened but again we have to allow the progress to happen so that we can look back at those things that we've overcome but you got to give yourself time to do that Let's see what the other message is 
here for let's go ahead and clarify all right any other messages that the spirit wants to say to deck number two four of fire okay so we have the four of wands which is both all right so yeah there's definitely i see for you a specific like you you are meant to live the jackpot life i'm not just saying that and it's unfortunate that not many people can believe in it but you really are here to have harmonious relationships you're not here to have problematic um, energy when it comes to the people around you i'm seeing a lot of harmony it says a happy home life so some of you it's like marriage kids the family life all of this whatever it is that's coming to you that makes you feel really good some of you uh, being on an island some of you being by water some of you just being free spirit is saying to listen to life to follow those signs you have contentment coming in peace and abundance the success of completion of a project so some of you are definitely getting ready to close out a cycle when it comes to a project that maybe you're working on and i just feel like that project is more so of just discovering what it is that you truly desire all right that's kind of what i'm getting you guys could be a virgo but I'm just really sensing that we have spiritual teaching and self-discovery, spend time in quiet meditation, that there is a, a, another phase that you're getting ready to go through, which is going to allow you to get closer to your guide so that you don't feel so alone. You literally are being guided by so many things around you, nature, animals, music, um, you name it. It is here. And there are signs that are being given to you. You just must be aware and open to this communication outside last card i am light okay so we have the throat chakra we have the base chakra so yeah lots of things happening we also have vitality so as you see a lot of balance even in your chakras even here positive action um there will be much more positivity in your life when you realize that you're not the one doing it on your own the signs are there 24 7 whenever you desire them they will show up they will appear so you are being of light you are being of light that is what's coming up no matter the ordeal have faith in the better future turn darkness into light open your heart to others to god and to spirituality strong draw the light to you and shine with all of your being you must be much more confident in this spiritual connection much more confident to be able to dive in and then you're being a light except the div divine energy in your body and every one of your cells being regenerated so this is your heart so your your emotions really are connected to a lot of the decisions that you're making and a lot of what you're attracting in your life and i'm sensing that there is a need for introspection for you to spend more time in self-discovery so that you can feel more confident about trusting yourself knowing what you have to offer and knowing that you are here to live truly the life of your dreams here so if you guys were drawn to deck number two this is your reading for the, what the universe wants to tell you is that you have beautiful harmonious relationships on the horizon that you have energy that's being restored your base chakra your root chakra is also being repaired which is the foundation of all of your relationships Okay. your relationship should be founded strongly on feeling good very simple and last but not least the confidence in who you are the confidence to speak up uh, the confidence to take care of yourself on an energetic level understanding that your energy is more important than anything with vitality here how you feel all right i'm moving on to deck number three What's good, deck number three? This is what the universe has been trying to tell you. Surrender to the flow. I'm sure you've heard that a lot. <laughs> but the cool thing is, is that when you understand that the flow is actually in the direction that you desire, you will have a lot more faith and trust, okay? Because what it's looking like right now is you in the middle of the ocean going against the current. And all that's going to do is create restrictions, prolong the process, but there's something special about just kind of flowing and kind of going into the wave and allowing it to, to carry you and take you. This is a higher awareness of understanding that you are being carried each and every day by the universe. And even 
some of you could have remembered moments in your life where something almost happened and it didn't because you were spared. So every single thing that has happened in your life has been perfectly aligned, divinely led you here, which will lead you furthermore. So you must trust more. Okay, when you trust more, there's less worry, less stress, more excitement. You're here to experience life. Okay, you are not here to struggle. Let's see what's going on with my deck three. Please. All right, so we have seven of pinnacles. So we have some, some bit of impatience here, wanting to force things, wanting to take matters into your own hands to make it work. Um, which is causing a lot of confusion because we have two of wands here, not really sure which way to go. We also have temperance energy, which is Sagittarius energy. And we have the tower. Yeah. Wow. A lot of you are experiencing the same things right now. Very interesting. Very interesting. Wow. Okay. Lots of inner conflict going on. Lots of stuff going on. Look at this energy. All right. This looks like a lot going on. Let's see where you're headed when you surrender to the flow. Deck three. Death. All right, we have Scorpio energy twice on the board here. So this is definitely a transformation. All right, Spirit is saying if it, if it feels like a lot more to carry, to hold, then it's even more of a confirmation to let go. If it hurts more to hold, right, the rope, can't, holding on to that rope, if it hurts to hold, let it go. Because it's actually hurting you more holding on to it than it would letting it go. So for some reason, there's a lot of, I love you guys. I really do. But there's a lot of stubbornness here. And I understand because I'm a Capricorn. I get it. We have Leo energy here. I already know how, you know, it's like wanting to feel like you have to do it. Take it into your own control because if you don't, it won't get done or it won't come out the right way. Whatever the case may be. Spirit is literally coming in so many forms to tell you to take a step back so that you so that the tower whatever is falling does not fall on top of you you might even be receiving insights and clues and certain feelings in your aura or your instincts of okay it must be time like you know you can feel it right it must be time <laughs> like we know you have to trust more you have to trust more and i say that out of love okay you could be an aquarius just really overthinking it, being in your head about certain things. But spirit is saying to take a step back because there's an ending that's going to occur and it is unavoidable. And it is something that you're desiring, truthfully down inside. But because you're in it right now, maybe you don't think, maybe it's devastating, okay? So you, you can't really see the outcome. You can't really see the light of it because it is the unknown. And that's why spirit is saying surrender to the flow. All right, Spirit, what else do you want deck three to know? Two of air. Wow. Okay. Being unable or willing to make a decision. A stalemate. Pretending there is no problem. Like I said, deck three, I love you guys. I really do. I have to make it known because sometimes hearing these messages, it could feel like a lot. However, if it feels forced, if it feels confusing, if it's a lot of effort, and if it has been, whatever that is, being honest with yourself, if you can trust and let go, all will be well. Because this is just preparing you for the future. This is just a few situations that you're learning to deal with right now. You might not have no idea why you're going through some of these things, but in the future, you will be very thankful because whatever level this is in your life, it is equipping you with the right tools that you need for the future relationship or the future period. You have to allow the control to be outside of you at some time with a higher perspective. And it seems like the only way that spirit is really being able to come into your life is through death, through death, through endings, through towers, 
and spirit doesn't want to have that relationship with you where it's always bad or when something's bad you come to spirit you know what i mean like it's a deeper relationship that your higher self and the universe desires to have with you it's unconditional love anything that you want deck three to know because they're here they're here for a reason deck three peace yeah okay we have a lot of purple and purple is all about the crown chakra and the third eye being able to see from a different perspective that not that things are not happening against you that they're not you're not being punished that this is not a test man it's so crazy it's not a test we always think oh this is a test it's a lesson it wouldn't be required if you would have let it go so it's only a lesson because you have not learned once you learn this you'll never go through it again and what you're learning is how to let go of what seems a lot to carry whatever that may be and I know that can feel scary because what are, what's going to take over? And that is the universe. That is God. Okay. So let's go ahead and get that first card that we had that came out. Well, we have trust here. All right. Trust life and your strength. So this is going to, this, what you're learning here is you're gaining strength. So without whatever this is, you would not have gained the strength or be gaining the strength that you're going through right now in the confidence to trust. Sometimes certain circumstances have to come up to, to prevent us into the unknown so that once we go through, we realize, oh, we can trust because when I went through this, I trusted and it worked out. But you have to give the universe a chance to make something work out without your control. And my friend, I'm telling you, that will feel like peace. All right. So you are unwavering in the face of fear. Come to your senses and embrace challenge. So instead of like avoiding it, diving into it, it says you are determined to think with gentleness and calm, find inner silence and become a manifestation of peace. So all of this chaos, look at this, you are learning peace, but guess where the peace is in the flow. Literally, that's the message. The peace that you're seeking is in the flow, but that requires you to let go. It's just part of it, you know? gratitude be aware of the light in your life direct your thoughts to the beauty so see the the light in the world yes it fell apart but look you are here you are healthy you're alive give thanks to the universe for every little thing that brings you joy enlighten your thoughts riches surround you and appreciate all that life brings you once you come out of this energy you're going to attract a lot more Divine action incites love and harmony. Be aware of your thoughts driven by positive forces. Listen to your heart. Your desire to manifest the light transforms your growth and challenges into fear, from fear into love. So all of the desires that you have, like the true desire, whether it's if you're desiring true unconditional love, everything that's not is going to fall apart. Everything on your path is placed there for your growth. And that's what I meant about it being a lesson. We always think it's a lesson, but it wouldn't be a lesson if we had already learned what it is we need to learn. It just becomes the lesson. So spirit wants to know, let you know that you are loved and that you are guided and that you don't need to know every single detail to trust. You just have to surrender to that flow that flow how do you know it feels good it's easy you just let it go and at that point it's just like you know what i just let it go and you stop worrying and freedom and peace starts coming back and so i hope that works out for you guys and i hope that that gave you guys a sense of love and trust in the meantime i'm gonna move on to deck number four all right if you guys chose deck number four this is what the universe has been trying to tell you see the truth we are all connected and i was also getting another message for you if you're here and that was something about your boundaries so let's see what the universe has been trying to tell you i also feel like things in your life that are bringing you confusion if you're seeking clarity spirit is saying that you must be open to seeing the truth 
this is what's going to bring you the light this is what's going to bring you the peace and the freedom that you are seeking deck four what's going on with deck four you guys were also the only deck with two cards so i definitely feel like there's a lot of messages that have been trying to come through um but what i'm seeing on the board here is that there's more for you to learn about spirituality there's more for you to understand so that you know the truth and again when you know the truth it's going to bring freedom to you when you know that you're unconditionally loved you will be able to trust that there is something higher guiding you and so i see here with the page of cups the three of pentacles the queen of swords you're very focused on your earthly matters all right uh, we even have justice at the bottom you could be a libra you don't have to so i'm definitely sensing that you could definitely be focused a lot on this this world this life that you have this personal life that you have created for yourself but i'm seeing and i'm hearing from spirit that there is something much higher that you are seeking it's a deeper type of fulfillment all right it's deeper than what you can get here um in a physical form nine of water your wishes come true concerns fade away a love of life yeah there's a deeper life that you're meant to live spirit is saying that the life that you're meant to live is one that's so exciting every day you're excited to wake up you're excited to explore you're excited to be here um you would be seeing life as a child very curious to wander to explore and i i feel like spirit is saying the life that you were intended to live was kind of in a sense of a childlike mentality um very fun not so serious and understanding that not to get caught up on the worldly things because you're actually here because your wish has come true which number one is you're here you're alive and you're breathing and that is a dream come true which we really do overlook all right and even now on the board we still only have one major arcana card and that is the justice card which is a, still a very karmatic card um it's still very earthly it's still very practical which tells me that there is a deeper sense of getting to know the spiritual world okay because spiritual is just what the physical eye cannot see so it's what's going to bring you fulfillment it's nourishing your soul but if you don't understand a little bit more about your soul it could be very confusing because once again you've been very focused on whether it's financial security a happy life but spirit is saying find magic in the little things in life and those things will come even sooner. Six of Cups. Six of Swords. High Priestess. There we go. Yeah. That tells me something very, very clearly here. So I definitely feel like if you're at a crossroads right now in your life, it's actually pretty good because it's forcing you to have to see the truth. Um, for some reason, you've been closed, blindsided or closing your eyes to this truth. Um, and what is the truth here? Let's just see what spirit is trying to reveal to you. Deck number four, because this is divine light, one step at a time and faithfulness. So... The message is that spirit is saying that you've been looking outside for a long time to find something that you've been seeking fulfillment you are meant to have a family life a very stable family life you are meant to have a home um, you're meant to develop into something more as far as a family with somebody else this is all part of your dream everything that's part of your dream is actually what you are here to experience however you've been looking at it from a very practical manner um, from the queen of swords very intellectual um, very logical manner but this next phase in your life isn't about logic it's about your intuition and what is guiding you this is good whatever this is it's going to require you to have to move away from something it just comes with it it's an ending that creates a beginning here with the six of swords um could be a partnership could be a business partnership could be something that you thought you enjoyed that you no longer do um, either way there's a lot of confusion with decisions that you should make and it's because there is a disconnect with your guidance with your guidance sensor there's a disconnect from your soul and heart leading you and guiding you so the reason why i'm saying that is because we have a divine light here and we have faithfulness and this tells me that there's a deeper level of spirituality of trust that is required here 
for you to feel a lot more comfortable about this new path in your life this new path is more of an emotional fulfilling side it doesn't really have to do with career doesn't really have to do with finances it's just so happened to going to attract the financial blessings into your life and the financial security into your life your wish is meant to come true is what i'm hearing um but with being an expression of love and shining like the sun your inner light is your strength and your treasure your intuition guides you to discover the wonder and goodness of who you are so there's been just a lot of outside and your spirit is saying it's time to look inside the treasures inside and it really just reminds me of the story of this man who said that he would come outside and see this beggar on the street and the beggar on the street would have this box in over 30 years just never opened it and then once he opened it he realized everything he need was needed was in the box the entire time and i just feel like with you everything is inside but you've been spending a lot of time looking outside externally trying to fill these things and um spirit is saying to have faith and commit to your mind heart and will be devoted to the to the needs of your soul okay the soul getting to know your soul on a deeper level to trust in yourself god in the universe so that's what i meant by having a deeper connection here because if not it will feel very overwhelming see the mountain ahead and dedicate yourself to taking one small step at a time make progress by staying focused on the present moment so don't be so much in a hurry to get you will get there you know there's this fear of maybe not getting there maybe not having it happen and that's what's creating a lot of the other things in your life to happen let's see if there's anything else that we should know for deck four thus i regain my ease of living so your life is not meant to be a struggle it's meant to yeah so victory good news is on its way public recognitions or awards so all of the visions that you see of yourself deck four if you see yourself on stage if you see yourself on the camera if you see yourself in a movie if you've seen yourself anywhere it doesn't matter where you've seen yourself in the imaginative form understand that the imagination is seen through the eyes of god the universe how else can we see something that does not exist here so there's more questions for you to ask and all of this is connected to your success and you are meant to be very victorious you are meant to be very prosperous and you are meant to be recognized for whatever it is you're doing so if you have this dream you might have spent a lot of time trying to make this happen but when you understand we're all one and we're all connected that means that if we're all one you can attract yourself and others so you can attract the right team you can attract the right partner you can attract anything that you desire but there's a deeper level of understanding how this magic is working and spirit is saying to start looking in and being aware of those signs around you so that you can tap into that all right deck number four before i get into an even more rampant uh ramble i hope that brought you some faith and i hope that brought you some light to understand that everything that you desire is already working out you spending the time to stress or create it or make it happen it's only prolonging the process and that's because the entire universe every inch of it is working for your greatest desire the issue is we think we desire things but we don't so get to know yourself deeper of what why do you want this why do you want this and get to what you truly want and then bing it's gonna appear very quickly all right i am moving on to deck number five what's good deck number five let's see what the universe has been trying to tell you we have have courage here so you guys could be a leo you don't have to be I also feel like this has to do with just knowing who you are on a deeper level okay lots of yellow solar plexus energy your confidence um confidence in who you are so confidence comes from knowing who you are because when you know who you are you don't have to have confidence it just comes with the package so if you just take the shortcut to getting to know who you are you will see all the value you have and then all of a sudden you feel confident so i'm definitely sensing that if you were drawn to deck number five that spirit and the universe wants you to know that you're stronger than you think and if you really want to know <laughs> see this is the crazy part then we're like oh, okay how strong are we mm, that's when obstacles come so just understand that if you question your strength you're attracting obstacles to prove to yourself that you're strong but you don't have to do that you just can know that you are but it is okay if you have to see it to believe it 
um, just, you know, being easy on yourself and allowing the process to unfold. So let's just see what's going on with you, deck number five. Deck five. All right, deck five. Thank you. Okay. We have Aries energy on the board. We have Capricorn energy on the board. We got a lot going on here. Two more cards. Okay, we got lot, a lot of people. Spirit is saying it's time to kind of get back to yourself real quick so that you can hear only from your guides. All right, that's what's most important right now, not to rush into anything, but to take some time to do some introspection. We have three Zodiac cards on the board and that's Aries, Capricorn, and Virgo. And we have a lot of major arcana. So patience, deck number five, the universe wants you to know to have patience with yourself. You're going through a lot of transformation. The biggest thing is that the next level in your life, the universe wants you to know it's not supposed to feel like a fight. It shouldn't always have to feel like a competition. You're, you're not, you don't need to compete with anybody to be who you are. If you're the best at it, you're the best at it. Uh, and you're learning that there are infinite ways to get what you want and desire. So not to be focused just on one way, have courage to take some time to yourself and, and actually get to know yourself. I don't know why people are seeing that as like a cliche, getting to know yourself, like really date yourself. Why do you do certain things? Why do you have certain fears? Why do you not feel confident? Why do you not trust in something a bit higher? Why do you not see yourself just yet as the emperor? And some of you are coming into this energy, but these are just the questions that you have to ask yourself and get to know yourself. Understand there's two, there's two entities here, yourself. Okay, it's, it's deep. And actually, I think I could tell you guys that because there's tons of major arcana, so we could talk about that. Okay, there's duality here. We have the human body and we have the spirit. Your spirit has desires and your body has desires. For instance, you have to feed yourself. You have to clean yourself, yourself, self. It is literally a whole entity, literally. <laughs> and half of the time you're not hungry, but your body is. So it's like, okay, it's a whole entity. And spirit is saying, when you get to know yourself, you will have more courage, but you'll have more understanding. You have yet to even imagine the life that you're here to live. So if anything, I want to encourage you to stretch your imagination in your next meditation and see yourself in a greater light. Every time you have to stretch yourself to get closer and closer to who you are because you are sleeping on yourself, deck number five. You're sleep on yourself. Okay, we have freedom at the bottom. So your wounds have created doubt. What you've been through, the Knight of Wands is known as the wounded warrior. Just, it's been a lot. And your life was never meant to be a lot. You've learned everything you needed to learn in those struggles. And now you can just free yourself from them. They don't define you anymore. You don't have to think that you need them anymore. You don't have to replay them anymore. It's not even who you were anymore so you're freeing yourself from a lot actually deck number five from people from the just so many things i just see that are trying to latch on to you but it's because of who you are you're the emperor okay so it once you do this introspection i do believe spirit will start to communicate with you more all right let's see if there's anything blocking this communication actually let's get the healing cards what could be blocking this? Thank you. Self-love. Crazy. Wow. It's like me and spirit are just tag teaming this entire reading at this point because that's exactly what I'm feeling. Self-love. Not in the cliche way. First, you must know yourself. Step one, who am I? outside of what people tell me I am, my occupation, what I love, daughter, son, all of these labels. But 
when you're not talking to your mom or dad, are you still a daughter? When you're out, do you say, oh, I'm a daughter? <laughs> no, it's just one role. All of these roles that you're playing here and you just desire to be free. You just desire to be yourself. So there cannot be a fear of being you, being true to you. So attends to the needs of listening to your heart. Not your fear, not your wounds, not your doubt. Your heart, you will know, is speaking to you because your heart has courage. Our heart, as much as we think it's, it gets wounded, that's not true. It's just our ego that gets wounded. Because our heart is so strong, it can always love again. Unless we block it. My inner essence lets me know what is good for me. There you go. So you have an inner compass that tells you what's good for you. The only issue is that when you go against it for so long, it's kind of like a sensor that just kind of stops feeling like it's working. It's there, but it becomes even more quieter the more you overlook this inner essence of voice that's been guiding like, hey, no, don't go there. Hey, no, it's not good for you. Respect your limits. Answer the request of your body and your soul. Thus, learn to love yourself. Cast negative thoughts, find peace in your heart, and discover the being of light within you. Okay, so let's just see what else is here for my deck five. Thank you. Yes, I love it. The high priest, you have the power to overcome all of this. Listen to your intuition. Spirit has come and brought you all the way here to tell you to listen to your intuition. Have patience and consider carefully what you want before acting. Is it truly what you want or is it what you think you want? So that, et cetera, et cetera. Sometimes we think we want something or like, oh, this is a great idea. It'll make a lot of money, but it's like, eh. It's not really about that because once you find that your dream can make you a lot of money doing what you love and it could be something literally it doesn't matter what it is it could be sleeping in bed all day <laughs> you would be surprised at the occupations people create for themselves we're creators of this reality i'm a tarot reader and that's hilarious i mean as an occupation not something that i thought in high school or college but i'm here um, and it has actually brought me more fortune, not just in finances, but in relationships, in resources, in understanding myself. Everything I give to you, I give to myself. Unconditional love, guidance, truth, confidence. Anything that I'm giving, I'm receiving through this career that has been created for me. So be open to whatever that may look like, even if it sounds silly or even if it doesn't sound like it can work you just really never know and you're coming up as the high priestess so some of you are being guided to doing something a little bit more towards your pleasure towards your enjoyment towards what you truly are thriving to do what makes you dance and laugh and feel really good and confident we also have the ten of fire too much work accept help from others life is out of balance stress related health concerns so yeah too much work here with the nine of wands trying to figure it out trying to figure it out whether it's a good business idea with the capricorn energy i'm a capricorn so i get it there were tons of books i wrote probably five still in my drive that i have not released because another path forged for me that was even more easier and peaceful and freeing that i could not have imagined which took me quite a a while just to see this because I was very practical. Understanding that at your job, you're not just giving away your time, you're giving away your inspiration, you're exchanging energy. All right, let's go ahead and confirm why the world is here before we move on. The wheel, change, possibilities. Two of shells, harmony. This is beautiful. Okay, three of acorns, exploration, foresight. So there is an exploration and a discovery that your higher self, the universe wants you to take. 
it does not require work. It's not something that's going to stress you out. It's not something that's going to make you have to work really hard. This is something that's going to come very natural and easy. And the best way for you to get these answers is to tune into yourself. Who are you? It's so fun. And if it's not, then you might not be doing it right. Who are you? What do you love? What excites you? Get to know you, right? I think you just got caught up in a lot of these things in the world that didn't matter, but it is your fortune and your destiny to fulfill this life purpose of yours. And that is to, what I see here is just stability. You're desiring stability. You're desiring a few things here and there as far as your desires. It may even seem like you're not asking for much. It doesn't really matter because whatever it is that you desire, spirit is saying that I'm working in your favor for you to obtain that. But once again, do you truly desire it? We have 10 of acorns again. So there is two cards here that are saying that there is a responsibility of closing something out that is very burdening. Whatever feels very heavy to you, it's, it is really time to dedicate yourself towards letting that go for the sake of loving yourself for the sake of not wanting to put yourself in that energy whether it's work a relationship whatever it may be okay uh, spirit wants you to know that you are free from all of this and that you do have the confidence to overcome it so know that you are the emperor okay this is someone who's very confident this is the most confident card in the deck this is the emperor the aries like the 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 head cojona in a masculine it's the most masculine card here and you don't have to be a man it's just truly independence making it doing it yourself which you are but the emperor is even wise enough to know that even they are being guided by something higher that can see from a higher perspective so just be open to letting that in with the high priestess fully even with your bigger dreams, not just your little dreams, but your bigger ones as well. All right, I'm moving on to deck number five. Hope this brought you guys some light and some encouragement. See you guys. What's good, deck number six? This is your message from the universe. So the universe really wants you to know not to be malicious. Let's see what this is about. Deck number six, thank you embrace the feminine okay so i definitely see that what's going on here all right so if you guys were drawn to deck number six i'm definitely feeling that i'm gonna go ahead and let the sirens go by a lot could have transpired in your life and sometimes things happen that turn our heart cold or bitter it's totally normal i feel like it's part of the uncomfortability that comes with trusting in the universe with the embracing the feminine this is also embracing the understanding side the empathetic side understanding that everyone is not where you are and all you can do is be aware of and I don't like the word boundaries because you don't have to protect yourself but it's really just being aware of the people around you and how your energy changes and noticing like when you're by yourself or you're kind of like living life, how things work out for you versus how they shift when you're around certain people. So that's for some of you as well. So let's just see what this is about for deck six. What is the current energy for deck six? And what do you, why are they here? Why is deck six here? Wow, you guys have a lot of tarot. All right, why is deck six here really quickly? Why is deck six here? Thank you. All right, you're here to understand unconditional love. So everything that is happening in your life is not due to a punishment and not due to, to the universe trying to teach you a lesson. <laughs> and yeah, I am definitely here to speak on behalf of the universe because I feel like we get that incorrect at times you could have been drawn to another deck i definitely feel like you should go back and choose another one they're pretty short and it might resonate with you as well um, especially the one with the judgment card so what i'm sensing for you is there's this sense of really just allowing yourself to be guided and be more submissive to the universe 
and submissive is just really receptive uh we have like again a lot of definitions and weird feelings around words like submissive more so of just receiving allowing yourself to be led that's what the feminine does is is more of a compassionate side understanding that you are being led by the masculine and in this sense the masculine is the confidence of your intuition truthfully is what i'm getting so your heart is free from resentment towards others we have be without malice and then we have my heart is free from resentment it's like is this a coincidence that two cards from the different deck that I just shuffled here? Absolutely not. And that's what the universe is saying is be more attentive of your life. Is this, an, is this a, a coincidence? You know, how many coincidences does there have to be before we realize, huh, I think something's really trying to talk to me. And spirit is saying, be like a child, right? Be like a child and allow yourself to be guided in this playground that we call life and understand that your parent the one that's guiding you, which is all a parent is, guiding you out of what? Unconditional love. Even some of you who are parents might understand that your kids or kids around you might have nephews or whatever. You know how kids are. They're like, oh, you want to suck all the fun away from it. But you're like, no, it's dangerous or I don't feel comfortable with whatever the case may be. Same thing with your higher self. But your higher self is saying with you from a child, you're, you're not letting your parent guide you. You're not opening up to this guidance and understanding that it is unconditional love. It's not from a place of punishment. And I assure you, when you look back, you will be very thankful at all of the events that took place exactly how they did. Because everything happens for a reason. Even if you sent a text and you're like, ah, oh, I know I shouldn't have sent it. It was meant to be sent. You have to trust and let go of what was ev whatever happened was meant. Whatever happened was meant, just allowing that to be a thing here. It says, open the eyes of your heart and discover the light and beauty in every being. So from a feminine point of view, it's like open your heart to understanding that everyone is in their own journey. Everyone is in their own journey. And it is not an excuse. It's just it's to free you because there's going to be a lot of people that you meet that will do things that don't make sense will do things out of hurt will do things from an ego perspective and spirit is saying that you're gonna have to have a higher awareness to not get offended and be able to see like oh they're just dealing with x y and z be aware of the suffering that can be caused by distress and hurt in people so spirit is saying that certain people go through such suffering and here's the ambulance again it's just a lot of energy that i'm feeling and what spirit is saying is you don't realize that a lot of people go through suffering that we don't see but if you can see the pure child in everyone and practice forgiveness it will clear your heart of this malice okay and it is coming from a protective place i'm not picking up like oh malice in a malicious way it is coming from a sense of feeling the need to protect yourself happiness lies in magical moments not in material even the smallest joy is a great source of light okay so you're focusing a lot on maybe some of the things that didn't work out didn't occur and it's really preventing you from seeing the joy in the world okay we have the knight of cups coming in we have the four of pentacles. This is all about your current energy. We have the knight of wands. We have the judgment card. We have the four of cups and we have the six of wands. Okay. It's almost like you don't know where to look for this, this happiness. And I do see music here. I do see recognition. I see people admiring you for who you are. And there is great appreciation for who you are. There's also a lot of pride. Like a lot of people are going to be very proud. It not that that matters because remember, just don't get caught up in that because that's not fulfilling. But just know that people are proud 
uh, of what you've come and understand you're not going to get here by forcing this it's so important that you understand that you're being led by unconditional love and the universe so if you and the universe have beef in any type of way it needs to be resolved because it's you're feeling this sense of unfulfillment and in order to you're asking for fulfillment you're asking for you're asking for joy this is not something you can just go to the grocery store and be like oh let me get uh two packs of joy this is something that comes from not this world it comes from the energy within us it's an energy so if you block out this source of energy from all energy um from guiding you it 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 really is not going to feel good okay i see that you're meant to be very stable in your finances not meant to worry not meant to hold on let's see why the four of pentacles is here deck six yeah not to worry about your finances and how this is going to happen see you wouldn't have to worry as much if you understand that you're being guided by something higher this seems to be the common theme for this reading all right we have the six of pentacles and we have the ace of wands some of you might not know what you want to do next some of you might not know where to start and that's okay there's a lot of stress on this like there's a lot of pressure and the nine of cups is here so i do see there is going to be some type of emotional satisfaction that's coming through as far as like an idea of hey this might bring you happiness or hey this might but i see that you might not know because there's a journey that that should be discovered the the judgment card your purpose is is here as well what you're called to do the universe is calling you to do something greater okay for some of you it could definitely be music why is judgment here why is judgment here thank you queen of earth you're meant to be very prosperous you're meant to be very stable okay you're coming up as someone who's creative and sensible okay so there's definitely a career advancement it says change your life now this career advancement is taking you into the purpose and the place of your of what are you here to do okay you have a life that you are here to live it is a dream and i feel as though things are looking up but there is a shift of energy that is required here so if you guys are here the biggest thing that i'm getting is spirit is saying that it's like taking a trip or doing something that's really going to be bold just for your joy is required it's like you really have to shake up your life by just going forth towards what brings you joy and just going towards it not being afraid that someone's going to take it away from you or and again that's where that heart situation comes in things that have happened to you in the past it's affecting your relationship with the universe which is ultimately the guide to getting you literally everything you desire and aligning you with your dream life you are here to live your dream life that is your purpose you are here to exist you exist ta-da you're in the dream <laughs> This is the dream, but you just want to be awake in the dream. You know what I mean? Have you ever had a dream and you're like, oh, I just wish I was awake. Look at all these, like you, you have a dream and all these shoes are in your room and you don't know how they got there, but you're like, oh, I don't want to wake up, which in a sense means I don't want to die. So some of you might have the fear of once things get good, it might go bad. It might go sour. And that is a program. And it's like every single time something good happens, that program is just like going to go bad, going to go bad. And the only way you can remove that program is imagining something going good. You have to take control into your hands by imagining the good. And sometimes that could be hard to do when so much bad has happened. So you've been programmed to just bad, 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 whatever it may be. But that's not who you are. That's not the truth of life. It's just a loop that you've been stuck in you can free yourself from that and you will free yourself from that how do you do that you will follow joy and unconditional love unconditional love is no matter what so i love this so whatever you love in your life i love this no matter what whether i'm getting paid to do it whether i'm here whether i'm there i just love this no matter what that's that's a sign that's a direction that's a key in your direction 
So whatever you love, no matter what. And then the biggest thing is understanding that the universe loves you no matter what. So the universe wants exactly what you do. And that's going to require trust for you to believe in that. So I'm hoping that you guys really enjoyed this video. I see that you guys are transitioning and you are becoming a lot more stable. And this stability is coming from doing something you enjoy and love. All the answers are there. And I'm really hoping I was able to bring something back into your life. Don't forget to subscribe. I will see you guys in the next Pick a Card reading. Until then, love and light.